So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build fast in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now this is the newest, most updated way possible. And if you guys do enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate a like. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? This is Mirko here. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now, I've always wanted to do a video on how to build fast in Fortnite Battle Royale and I thought there's no better time than to do it now because recently Epic Games has actually released a new option in build controls in your settings which enables you to build so much more faster and I think this is the fastest you'll be able to build on a controller because the way the setting is laid out, there is no other way you can build faster on a PS4 or Xbox controller. This is the closest you will get to matching a keyboard and mouse player. So before I get into what needs changing and how to build faster, I'm just going to pop an example on screen for those of you that think this might not be a big difference. So as you can see on screen, I'm using the old layout, the Combat Pro, and I'm just building two floors high. I'm building a small base and it takes me around four seconds to build this base. Now what I'll do is I'll switch to my new layout which is the Builder Pro layout and it literally takes me half the time to build so this is a big difference we're talking about here we're talking about half the time and when you're doing build battles or building bases this will help you do it two times faster than you normally would so what you want to do is you want to go over to settings on PS4 or Xbox and then after that you want to go over to wireless controller Make sure you're on build controls, if not, just press the right analog stick down and it will toggle between uh, build controls and combat controls. And after you've done that, make sure you go on to build a pro. Now this is the most important part of the video. So what this does is it basically uses the L1, the L2, the R1 and the R2 to sort of change between uh, what you want so the uh, L1 has a roof, L2 has stairs, the R1 has a floor and the R2 has the wall so what this does is if you want to pull out the stairs all you have to do is press L2 whereas if you were on Combat Pro you would have to press circle you'd have to press R1 two times to actually go to the stairs and then you'd have to press R2 to then build the stairs whereas with this you just press L2 two times and it builds it straight away and that's why this is so much more of a faster way to build. Now don't get me wrong this takes a lot of time to get used to and it'll probably frustrate you a few times it's frustrated me as well sometimes you could be in a gunfight and you forget that you've changed your settings and it can get you killed a few times so what you want to do is you want to just go into games and just practice building with this new layout so I suggest to go into Moisty Meyer or anywhere that's got a lot of trees and just gather material and after you've done that then I would suggest going somewhere quiet when you've got say about 500 wood and then just practice uh, practice this technique it could take you a few hours maybe a few days I mean if you keep playing it I'm sure it will only take a few hours to adjust to and after you've adjusted to it I can assure you guys you will be a completely different player and you will be more confident challenging people as well and you will be winning them, them build battles I can assure you guys that and it's honestly changed me as a player I only started using it you know a few days ago and I'm all of a sudden playing so much better and I'm getting more wins and it's just so much of a big deal this setting one thing I will say which you need to keep in mind is that it's actually left on the d-pad to change between material and your traps etc it's not the usual L2 that you would press on uh, other control layouts so that's the only major difference as well but if you have the setting on which automatically changes to another material when you've run out then I wouldn't worry about that too much but obviously for traps and stuff like that it's worth noting that it's left on the d-pad if you want to change to a different material so with all that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you guys did enjoy the video, a like is always appreciated. And I'll catch you guys out in another video.